Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. The Python Collections module provides specialized data structures that are alternatives to the built-in data structures like lists, tuples, and dictionaries. These specialized data structures can be very useful in various scenarios. In this tutorial, we will cover some of the commonly used data structures from the collections module and provide code examples to demonstrate how to use them. Hashtag 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 1. Counter. The counter class is used to count the occurrences of elements in an iterable. It returns a dictionary where the keys are the elements and the values are their respective counts. Hashtag 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 2. Default dict. The default dict class is a dictionary subclass that provides a default value for keys that are not already in the dictionary. Hashtag 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 3. Dict. The dict class is a double-ended queue that allows fast insertions and deletions from both ends. Hashtag 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 4. Name tuple. The name tuple function creates tuple subclasses with named fields, which can be accessed using attribute names as well as index positions. These are just a few examples of the data structures available in the collections module. By using these specialized data structures, you can write more efficient and readable code for various tasks.